Hey guys, this is Al DeMarco and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. Uh, last night, cashed out another free pick winner, Northern Illinois, in a rout of your MAC game against Toledo. A lot of people, including most of the handicappers at this site, unfortunately, on the uh, Toledo Rockets last night, told you I thought Northern Illinois was the play. Of course, that was my free play, the actual play that I personally wagered on, my only release last night. Five-dime play on the Indiana Pacers. I told you, one of the things you have to be so aware of in the NBA is back-to-backs for teams, especially on the road, especially those coming off heartbreaking losses like the Denver Nuggets were one night earlier, Monday night, at Chicago. They didn't show up last night. I thought the Pacers, losers of two in a row, in which they had just shot miserably, would rebound and come out with a strong offensive effort. They only missed like one shot in the third quarter. I mean, they covered by 32, 33 points, depending on what your line was. You like the easy winners like that. You like being on the right side. I certainly do. Five-dime winner last night on the Indiana Pacers. Now tonight, I've got to play twice as strong. It's another 10-dime release, and once again, I'm going back into the Mid-American Conference, taking a look at your game between uh, Bowling Green and Miami of Ohio. Bowling Green and Miami of Ohio. This is a series that Miami of Ohio has absolutely owned of late, but as you see on my website, the problem is Miami of Ohio on weeknights, they've lost eight straight games. Now the public has certainly jumped on the Red Hawks in this one. Last night they were a one-point favorite. At this moment, about three o'clock Eastern time, they're laying between two and a half to three depending on where you look. So is the public right or is the public wrong? Tonight it is a 10-dime play. I'm on a 16-7-1 and one run with five-dime releases in college football. This play is twice as strong. Last week, you may recall, in football, college and pro combined, I hit three out of four 10-dime plays, cashing with the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday, and then in college football, Central Florida over Houston on the road on Friday night, and Ohio, another Mid-American Conference team, on uh, Thursday night. So, tonight, 10-dime play. Get it now in college football. You can see on my website what my run in college football has been this year, what I've done here for you lately in college. So, your free pick tonight, going to go back into the NBA. Big number, but I'm going to lay it with Oklahoma City at home. Now listen, I know Oklahoma City has struggled losing three of its last four, coming off an uh, eight-point loss to the Boston Celtics in their last game, of course, on the road. They got hammered last week, losing by a combined 35 points to the Clippers and the Jazz on the road, then miraculously going to the Rose Garden and winning against Portland in overtime. So which team shows up tonight? Well, I say it's the team that played so well last year for Oklahoma City. Uh, now, Oklahoma City will be without Jeff Green. He's averaging 19 points a game so far this season. However, the 76ers are going to be without Andre Iguodala. So I think that's a wash. Look, the problem with Oklahoma City this year, they've been absolutely beaten down low in the paint, giving up an average of 48 points a game. That's not the Sixers game. They don't go into the paint. Other than Elton Brand, they don't have any paint scores. So lay the 9.5 to 10 points here with Oklahoma City. Keep in mind, they also have a huge advantage at point guard. Two former UCLA products, Russell Westbrook and the guy who replaced him and succeeded him at the Bruins, Jeru Holiday, in two games against each other last year, Westbrook, 29 assists. I say Oklahoma City runs to an easy win here against a defenseless 76ers team that has no interior defense, especially. Oklahoma City wins this one 13, 14 points easily, gets the cover. That'll do it, guys, and I will catch you again on Thursday with your next video report.